fine though because of things that I feel like I don't know if you're gonna talk about it or not. Because we're so charming, no one can really hate us. I no, I was referring to the other thing. Oh, I I don't I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you you want to reread our conversation? Oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Anyway, uh, but no, we're back. We we here. We're queer. We, well, yeah. at least I am. I, pencil's right. pretty straight. But uh, you know, we're, we're we're here. Anyway, we're just gonna start off with the weeks. How's your week been, Pixel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, boring as shit. Despite I, I ate a lot of mac and cheese on Thanksgiving. That is oh yeah, as good as it Almost forgot. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. It's already happy like latest Thanksgiving. Well, happy, happy me? late Thanksgiving. But I hope all I hope already inside a pretty fun Thanksgiving on Dead Turkey mm. Day. It's great. Uh, mine was fine for the most part. I didn't really have much to say. I had a better time at Friendsgiving that we had at my place. Which damn I'm mad. It was great. I made I made tons of stuff. I made a bunch of brownies. I've made some deviled eggs. I make some bomb ass deviled eggs. People can't people can't resist them. Oh, with the sponge. Yeah. I just... But yeah. <sighs> anyway, continue what you were gonna say. Um I I, literally nothing's been happening. I've been playing games. Like, I've been still on the still on Destiny. I don't know. Uh, no, because Destiny's kind of dead right now. But not, but not because the literally the game is dead. But literally because there's no content for me to really sink my teeth into, except for the season stuff. And I don't want to do the seasonal stuff. The loot might be good, but I don't... I might dedicate myself to a grinding day, but that is going to be a rare thing. Nah, it's one and, of those, It's one of those like, I have literally done most of the content that I want to do at this moment, and I don't have anything else. Literally, that's that's how it always is with me in games. That's fair. I know a lot of people in, like, MMOs who do that very often. Like, they'll do everything they have up to the point to do in, like, in the game, and then... They'll stop whenever they'll they'll stop right. until new content comes out. A lot of FF fourteen players that I know do that. I just know that. Most, but yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I just need. I don't know. I just want something to happen in this game. That's fair. I mean, on the bright side, it's a game that's continuing the get content. I'm like, yeah, something. I was gonna say one. I, I'm we're pretty much I'm just waiting until I think actually we might get new content like in a couple of days, I think, because uh, the Bungie's 30th anniversary thing is happening. So we're going to be getting stuff for that. Oh, and wow. I already have that, back, so I'll get that. But literally, otherwise, I am contentless until like February because that's when the new expansion comes out. Well, luckily for me, I actually have plenty that I've been doing lately. Uh, aside yeah. from, of course, well, actually, no, people didn't notice because that was in a fucking episode that we lost, but, uh, fucking, I've been getting back on Animal Crossing. It's been fun. Yup, you still haven't sent me a dodo yet. I, I, my bad, I'll send it to you, like, sometime soon. I don't know. Soon? <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, listen, part of me is like, hold up, I gotta make my island nice before I have, I actually have people come over on it, you know? Because it's pretty alright, no, but it can no, be better. No, literally don't never worry about that. Nah. Literally never worry about that. Nah, nah, nah. Because, like, for me, my island is dirty as shit. It literally has no actual, like, buildings or whatnot, except for, like, one tiny secondary plaza that's below the main plaza, 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 plaza. and where the town hall is. Plasma, yeah. So... Literally never worry about that. Yeah, but unlike you, I care about the appearance of my land, so, you know. Imagine. <laughs> but anyway, um, aside from that, you know, it's Animal Crossing. There's not really much else I can talk about. I didn't, I haven't gotten that DLC for all that. So, I like, haven't either because it's hella fucking expensive for it, no reason. That, that and also that, um, uh, I, I don't actually own animal crossing i'm playing it through like a friend's account on my switch so that's reject fine. reject animal crossing by blood rain one and two revamped okay hold up i i didn't i wasn't expecting the blood rain chilling on this podcast so soon 
I didn't even know. Listen, I didn't even know I, you knew what I, Blood Rain was. I don't. I just saw the covers. Of, uh, I were literally uh, Matt Matt Muscles was like, for like, oh hey, uh, yeah, Blood Rain course, one and two course. is like out. Blood and Blood Rain one and two revamped is like out, and I was very intrigued by the covers. And I have now also been on a kick of seeing women in tight black clothes doing supernatural shit. Yeah, I bet you I, have. I I I. I I need more of it, okay. and I will listen. I I haven't played any of them, but from what I've heard, they're not really that good of a game. Except that Blood Rain recently got a new ass game, and like it, it's like no, yeah, it's like a Metro it's Vania like a Metroid, thing. it's a two D Metroidvania, and no one was fucking expecting it because people assume that Blood Rain died, as you would hope. Also, sure, the, cause actually, the, there the, was, game, cause the games came out like on the PS4 era where everything was releasing on the PS2. No, yeah, so, no, like, no, Blood Ring came out on the PS2 era. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the, the, out, the new game, yeah, okay. My bad. Uh, like, right, no, 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 because Blood Ring was always, like, because Blood Ring came out when a ton of games were also coming out that were doing similar shit on the PS2. So, yes, we got those two games, and then after that, it's like, oh, they were probably just, like, quick little flings for, that's, you know, the PS2 boys. It, it's, yeah, and then it's, we get this new game. Yeah, no, it's it's one of those, like, oh, man, this dead franchise that nobody cares about. Uh, cares about. Oh, it's, it, it's bad. Right, you gotta have, like, this little cult following game that it, no one was gonna expect a sequel for got a sequel. It'd be like if, like, it'd be like if they'll be like, hey, everybody, we're making a There's new a Shadow Man. Out. We're making a new Shadow Man. Remember Shadow Man? And then everyone no, no, would no, be no, like, no, 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 no. Even Shadow Man, I really just want one day for the, someone to mysteriously buy the rights to the Blob and then release a new the Blob game. Okay, but people like that game. I'm trying to think of bad games that came out and then they're like, hey, look, this bad game is back, y'all. The Blob is Fair great. Enough. And it did technically come back because it got a port on Switch. Yeah, but then we got the two remakes, and now those are out on Switch and everything else. Yeah, but uh, aside from that, I, I've been playing a lot of stuff on my Switch, actually. I still need to get back to Disco Elysium, sadly, because I, I know <laughs> there's too much that came out that I was given or bought, and I'm oh, like, oh. I bought it because it was on sale, and then I was like, all right, I'm going to play this like at least for a good solid while. Oh, and no. And then after that. <laughs> Everything else that I've started playing dropped. Like I bought, what was it? Um, I think Delta Rune came out a little bit after. I, got, I think it came out after I got Disco Elysium. Uh, I came Literally. out like uh, I want to say like a couple days, maybe a week before Disco Elysium came out on Switch, which I know that's around the time it went on sale. So yeah, there was some time there that matches up. And then like a friend, no, Inscription totally came out. And that was what I was gonna be doing. Is that the uh, Eldritch Horror like uh, build engine looking game? Uh, the card game. Yeah. Oh my bad. For some reason, we said inscribed. I thought of, I forgot the name of it, but there was this really hype ass indie game getting uh shown around on Twitter like a couple weeks ago, and it, it's it, it looks like Doom, Blood, all those like old two D two D style games, but like mm -hmm. it's fucking with like Eldritch Horror shit, like Cthulhu's in it. Fuck, it's it's it, it looks really good. I don't know what it's called, sadly. I think so you're I, thinking I about. Know. I think you're thinking about cult, cultic. Me, I, I don't know because this I game has a come, hold because this game hasn't come out, so I I don't know. Hold on, watch this. Let me send you a screenshot real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I, let me. I would probably know more, but I've been watching a lot of uh, a YouTuber named Civi on uh, YouTube, and he. Yo, yeah, you're thinking about cultic. You're thinking about cultic but for sure. I, if I? it was, if it is. If because it's if it's if it was in a Civi video, it, it was wasn't. Probably... No, it it wasn't. It was getting shown around on Twitter because it hasn't came out yet. Yes, I know. Cultic hasn't came out yet, but it it had a it has a demo. Well, I Watch didn't. This. I, I didn't. Here, see... check this team page right now. Check this let team me, page. Let me let me let me see. Oh, it, it's made by Three D Realms. Oh my god, I need to mute it though. Oh yeah, um... that's definitely a mute. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh. But yeah, no, I, no. I believe it is this one. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. I I just didn't I didn't know Civi made Civi made a video on it already. Game I am talking about is Inscription, which was this. It is also kind of it's it's not 2D like it is 3D, 
but it's very much like chunky old it's made by fucking like chunky it? old like ps1 3d yeah yeah and it's, I, a, ooh, and it's, all, I it's, a, it's a horror card game and it's super fun actually and i think I, I have seen someone play this i think uh Klimps played this on his stream or something <laughs> no but, clue but uh but yeah no i oh man i love that chunky 3d that ps1 style i don't know I, it's no. just like like classic re and all that like oh man i love that style of game oh it's hard to see. make I, games look like that can i can i take this image real quick I, I just really want to send you this single image which it isn't a lot but it's like so fucking good um how we do this all right, keep talking, keep talking. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, aside from that, uh, again, a lot of my spare time actually has been on YouTube watching Civi because I love old, old ass FPS games, and luckily he fits that niche of talking about them and also the yeah, whole he... other games. Uh, but aside from that, I've been however, playing... it is thanks to Civi that I have now become, gone on to a manhunt to find a copy of uh, Scratches. Oh, okay. Play, because he did a video on that, and I really want to play that now. Uh, oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, aside from that, I've been playing a lot of Switch, and the only other stuff I've been playing is I, of course, as everyone should expect from me, I've been playing SMT5, and... Uh, oh, not only what have I players? been, not only have I been playing SMT5, <laughs> I'm playing it on <laughs> hard I mode. Play you? Pinky, can I bully you to buy me a copy of Street of Agave? No, five. fuck you. Back. No, if I pay you back for it later, can you just buy me? No, copy? I'm good. I like to see you I, suffer. I, I I want a fucking copy, please. No, sir. Nah, man. Right. Yeah, it, it was actually really funny because me and Tobol, we uh, I pre-ordered my copy like a couple days before it came out, and he was like, "No, don't worry, I'm gonna get the special edition. You know, that comes with a big box and the art and shit." And then he didn't get the special. No, edition. No, because but... he didn't pre-order anything. He was just assuming that the stores might have it, and they didn't. Ooh, and also, he's a fucking dumbass. And we were, and he was, he was like sweating because we couldn't. Like he then he just gave up and tried to get a regular copy. And then some of the places we went to didn't have regular copies, and he was like, "Oh no!" But he did. He got one. And uh, we both been playing it on just the. Just to make fun of the IGN reviewers, because, of course, when the game came, like, I, when IGN I, got their hands on the game, they obviously made all the jokes that everyone was expecting was, or, it doesn't no, they have made the all hardest the or, oh, yeah, the they, made all that, <laughs> they made all the jabs that they were, that everyone was expecting, where they would consistently yeah. keep preparing, comparing it to Persona 5, when Every the single... two games, the only thing they share are the demons, yeah, and that's maybe the RPG it. Um, they they share press turn, but that's kind of it. Uh, yeah, because that's and a, that's also also, also technically <laughs> negotiation. But I didn't, I can't, I can forget that negotiation is even in Persona Five because you kind of don't use it that often. Uh, literally, once you get enough demons to start consistently confusing shit, then you just kind of don't. Care yeah, about that, it. That, that's 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 kind of it. Unless you're doing like plus you literally you literally have to get literally you just have to get one of the you literally just have to get one the demon once in order to resummon it to uh or and then you could just pay money and you'll True, get a new but one. But it's the same in, in to, SMT, except I don't know SMT feels like a lot more like you need to utilize your demons a lot more often and also if you're like an asshole like me who plays on hard the the cost for getting a demon out of the compendium is doubled right, right. yeah which speaking of which smt5 is fantastic and i won't i won't particularly spoil anything about the story sadly i i'm not as no. far as i would like to all be. i know is i'm not all, as... all, I see is, all i know for the story is that Funny schoolgirl in a nice ass fucking school outfit gets and gets ends up being ends up not fully turning into a demon when uh Japan gets turned into hell. It's uh, great. One, you're playing as a you're playing as a guy, but I can't blame you for thinking it's a girl. But and two, <laughs> yeah, you're basically right. But anyway, uh SMT five is great. 
uh, I really like uh, the craziest thing is actually exploring the world in SMT5 because you actually just get to roam around the destroy Tokyo and all that, and it's it's real rad actually. It's really fun. The only the only downside is this game's kicking my ass because I'm playing on hard and. I actually haven't played hard on any of these games except for maybe I want to say SMTF, but that was only because I wanted to uh, I wanted to unlock Charlie's path, but that's about it. God damn, fucking that Ain't game! No way. SMT five. Ain't no way. Yeah, it's a it's a dude. They 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 they. Call no it way. I. Ain't no way. No fun fact: <laughs> the the voice actor for Nahabino is actually non-binary. So you know, it, it, fair enough. It can, it can, enough <laughs> it's on point. But yeah, no. I, I, will, I will let this pass for once. <laughs> but but yeah, uh, SMT five is real good. It's real fun. Oh my god, that game kicks my ass. Fuck that first boss Ain't... fight on hard is tough. It is real tough. Like you you like. I, I could get I got through it not too much. I only died like I want to say two or three times against it. But like, if you're someone who's new to SMT or even like any Mega Ten game in general, don't don't play on hard. You will regret it. I'm not I, can, sure I, can, I can get through it. I can get through it pretty casually for the most part, except for the. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go through a buffless run of Nocturne for breakfast if you want to do um, hard for it. That's a little. I don't know. I know. There's some Let's fights in that exact, game that I'm just like. Well, I don't know. It's, it's, it's called exaggerating, big man. I don't know. I might. I like Nocturne a lot. Maybe I'll do an endurance run. I'll do. You know what? Oh. I'll do. I'll beat it first on 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 one run without saving. Easy. Demi fiend only. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. SMT five is fantastic. Go get it, please, because I want more love to SMT five. <laughs> which made me happy that learned that the game was getting like constantly sold out in the stores near me, and I'm like, thank God. But uh, regardless, oh, I also got the really nice steelbook version. It's real great. But uh, other than that, I the only reason why I haven't played more of SMT5 is because I've also been playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond recently. <laughs> and originally, to be fair, it's not actually my copy of Brilliant Diamond. My friend got the double pack that came with both Pearl and Diamond, and he was like, hey, Vinny, you should play through Diamond. And I was like, no, not really. I don't feel like it. And he was like, okay, okay, but... What if at the end, all of us in the apartment, because there's like four of us, we just do like a mini Pokemon tournament? And I'm like, God, God damn it. You have to say that. <laughs> Gets invited to a tournament. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's, that's what I've been doing the past couple days, aside from working on other stuff, which, uh, d don't worry, I'll explain here in a bit or later at the end of the podcast. I don't know. But yeah, Maybe. yeah, no, uh, it's just, I'm like, yeah, um, uh, I've been playing through the, the, the remakes and they're, I like them. They're, they're fine. My only problem with them is, uh, they still have the dumb EX, the EXP share like function from Sword and Shield where all your Pokemon get EXP in the party. Honestly, and I'm I, fine and, with that because yeah, that no. means. It's okay. It's one of those. It's one of those things that they've changed. Where I'm like, I understand it, and it kind of like on one hand, I can't really claim like like I can't really complain about it because you know grinding's not really that fun. But I don't know. My only problem with it is I don't really feel utilized to use my Pokemon like my other Pokemon very often. I can play through the game with like one Pokemon, and I don't need to use the rest of them if I really wanted to. But I'm not gonna... I think I think it comes to a point where once you kind of I think the the problem with the EXP share is that at some point you kind of just want to stick to the Pokemon that you're like you'll get like a couple that you like really like and that you'll only use. For example, I only really I, I really only kept around like Eternatus and what the fuck was the sword Pokemon for Pokemon Sword? I forget his name. I don't know. I played but, uh, I played the, I played Shield once and that's kind of it Fair I mean, enough. I, like i beat it once and that's kind of it but they're uh not bad. It's just, they're, there. they're fine um but like i feel like it it, it should be a thing you could maybe turn off yeah no that's if, my that's my only problem with it it's just like if they just give me the option to turn it off then i'd be fine with it i would not like, complain let it, about it. Let, like it's like a charm in your bag like like or like it's a piece of equipment in your bag it's i mean like, like, oh like, hey literally this is the ex 
here. Yeah, literally, and you that's how it's home. been functioning throughout like the rest of the series, and then with Sword and Shield. Oh, no, 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 no. How it worked in the older game is that if you got an EXP share, you'd give it to a Pokemon, and only that Pokemon yeah, would get it. And then they changed how it functioned in 6th gen, where now it went to all your Pokemon. And then, yeah, you had to. Now, no, either. I want to no, say, no, 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 I think. How so, it in the I newer actually know. Game, how, Okay, Ali, well, switched it to 6th gen was where you would equip it on that Pokemon, and whatever that Pokemon fought in her deck speed, the rest of your Pokemon would gain, like, a fraction of that. Yeah, no, that, that's what I, I... I'm trying to remember, because I want to say X and Y introduced that, but it might be Sun and Moon, because I remember X and Y gave you two EXP shares, and I don't know if it still function like the newer games. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't remember. I would need to play the X and Y again, which I haven't done in, like, fucking years. I almost completely forgot about those games, honestly. They're not bad. I just just forget they exist, and I just keep going back to the six gen all the time. Sorry, not gen six, uh, gen five all the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are pretty solid. They're pretty solid remakes from the original. Everything that was there is still there, except that they've made they've only made a couple changes. Uh, the underground, uh, the underground little thing you could do back in the original is vastly changed in this version. That's it's it's honestly way better, and also it's the game's way of adding some few more, a few more Pokemon that doesn't fuck up the original Pokedex. Like the biggest problem with Diamond Pearl's Pokedex is there's only two fire types. One of them is a Fern Ape and is a starter, and the second was Rapidash and. It's Rapidash. It's not that amazing of a fire type, which they semi changed where you can get more. There, there's a couple more fire types you can get down in the underground. Uh, Houndoom and Magby if you're playing Pearl, which you mm -hmm. know that helps. Uh, but aside from that, it it re there's not really much to really say aside from it's it's really just like one to one almost Diamond or Pearl. The only difference is uh the few changes that I know and my friends because. They are Pokemon fanatics would know is um the the Rotom thing in the mansion. They've changed it where now you can choose the appliance for Rotom in the mansion, unlike in Platinum where it was exclusive there and that wasn't a Diamond and Pearl. And also, this <laughs> it's an ongoing joke in our in our apartment where um my one of my friends who's super into Pokemon like so much to the point of he is bought he bought the uh, Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc which. For those who don't know, it's Japanese exclusive and was like a limited time thing where not only did it come with like all oh, bonus features for uh, fucking Coliseum, but it also gave you a free Jirachi for any Gen 3 game you had. Mm. Also, he owns one of the uh, Pokemon distribute, uh, distribute cartridges, which... Uh, for, you know, how, like, back in the day where Pokemon would have live events at, like, places like Toys R Us, and they would give out, like, free, uh, free legendaries and all that. He owns one of those. He owns the one that gives you the shiny Dog Trio and Celebi. Nice. So, he's really in there for Pokemon, and he, he got, we got into, like, a, a semi-argument with him, where he was like, oh, man, these games are, th this game is really great, but it's dumb that people were saying it's one-to-one -one because it's clearly not. And his point of reference was the Poketch, where mm -hmm. it only has one button, where in Diamond, uh, and Diamond Pro only had one button, but Platinum had two buttons where it can go up and down the apps. Where in Diamond Pearl, you have to constantly press one button to go back to the app you want. And he got really upset at us because we were like, well, it's because it's not that big of a deal. And it's like, there, it's faithful to Diamond Pearl. And he was like, really? Really? And he used the Rotom thing as like, see, that was Platinum exclusive. That's dumb. Why didn't they just add it the up and down buttons on the bucket? And we were like, because they probably thought no one would care. <laughs> oh. It was so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh, oh, I can't. But yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, the game's good. It's not really much to say. Oh, the game's good. The, the, I mean, yeah, if you like Diamond and Pearl, it's it's Diamond and Pearl. It's really not much. Again. To say. The biggest change, actually, is that you get to change clothing for your character, which with the male avatar mm -hmm. is way. It's it's needed, honestly, because base the base male outfit for Diamond and Pearl is kind of meh. Of course. Like it is, it's just like compared to every other like like male main character in Pokemon, it is it's the lamest. Honestly, I I don't know exactly why. Like, just there's something about it that just seems lame. But aside from that, that's 
pretty much my week. There is one more thing, but I'm going to save that for the end because it's kind of an advertising thing for more content. So whatever. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, but with that, we're going to go right into the news and let's get started. We've we missed a lot of news in the meantime, and sadly, we couldn't talk about everything. You know, Chris Pratt being Garfield, The Simpsons House, you know, all that. So uh, we're just we're we're we'll, we we're, we're gonna roll the punches and just do what we can. Yeah. Uh, I what the fuck e e o like ain't e- no way. Okay. E one television. I don't even know what like is it e o whatever. I'm gonna call it Eon. Yeah, I'm gonna say because... Eon. Eon Television or uh, Eon Television is planning a potential universe of multiple series and movies based off the Power Rangers for Netflix. Just, 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 just... <laughs> whatever I... happened to that? Wasn't there fucking that one like mini series that happened where like a dude got to be like all of the Power Rangers from all of the series at once? I don't know. Or I know that I... there was like a movie where all of them came together or something. And I was like, "That's cool, that's kind of it." I would, I would know more, but I, I haven't watched Power Rangers in quite some time, and I was just like, "Hey, Power Rangers, that's that's pretty cool." I'll add it to the news list. All right. Which I do. Me, me and Tobel probably we plan to do Power Rangers like all of it at some point. It's just right now, it's you know, we still got to finish the Sailor Moon and all that, but uh. Yeah, I know. Power Rangers is getting more multi. Uh, it's getting a bunch of it's more series and movies and all that, and hopefully a lot of them will be animated because that'd be cool. We need more Tatsunoko, not Tatsunoko. Um, we need more like Power Rangers and Common Rider like animated shows because those are cool. Sure. I want fucking Common Rider to actually, or at least I need to find the people who like Common Rider up in the West or. I some mean, I've, they're there. I know they exist. I know they commonly they like. I know they commonly like to hang out in the the anime mecha categories. You know, all the time. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really cool seeing more Power Rangers. And my favorite Power Ranger was that one that was only in Japan, I think, where it was a Gold Ranger, but he's from America, and his design, his Power Ranger outfit came with a cowboy hat and a his fucking logo on his belt was a burger, and I'm like, yes. This is America, this is all in one man. <laughs> this is all of America, which I I always love. Like it, it it's it's probably a thing I think a lot of people can relate. But like I always love when like I always love when uh, other other countries make fun of America specifically because I just love American stereotypes like cowboys, hamburgers, all that. Mm. One, of, one of my favorites was this clip from uh i think it was some like vr chat video but it was like some japanese go be like oh you're american ha- hamburger nice 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and i was like yeah that pretty much is us but yeah there's not much else to really go with this it's more power rangers and hopefully it would be good i don't know i don't know i i don't know what the status on power rangers has been for the past couple of years honestly Fair enough. But uh, next up, this one I added because it is the funniest fucking shit. So typically, I try not to get too political on this podcast. Unless Faye's here because she loves getting political and I can't stop her. And that's, you know, she does her. But, Fair, but I this think one the, is also I just... Think, I think the statement, Big Bird, Bird, and Ernie have been banned from the 2022 <laughs> Conservative Political Action Conference in Florida. is such a powerful statement <laughs> that I... It is. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh man. I yeah. So there's yeah. There's some event happening in 2022, the Conservative Political Action Conference in Florida. I don't know anything about it because I don't care. Most conservatives can suck my left nut. But I just like Pixel said, there is something raw about the sentence of Big Bird, Burton, Ernie are banned from this event. <laughs> And Literally. I want the alternate reality where they're like, oh, they're like, they're, they have security at the doors. And I'm like, wait, there's something in the distance. And it's just like a silhouette Earth of the three coming paper. closer <laughs> with like the menacing symbols from JoJo. I was... <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> 
like I oh man, I want I want this as Stardust Crusaders where Bird Bird where Big Bird Bird and Ernie need to travel all the way to Florida to defeat the the whoever runs this event and they have their fight enemy stand puppets. Enemy stand puppets. <laughs> oh no! The, the, his his stand is the Second Amend- Amendment. Oh no! <laughs> the Second Amendment. <laughs> you can't defeat me. No, he's a summons. What's his name for part three? That's just a gun. <laughs> oh fucking hell, horse! <laughs> that's Second Amendment. That's his stand form. It's a gun. God. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I need this. But yeah, no. Uh, I, I'm sorry for all of our conservative. <laughs> our I, conservative feel, I feel uh, sorry for our them. Conservative <laughs> listeners, which one? I don't. I I don't care for you. Suck it up. You're not gonna see Big Bird. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Big Bird's about to run up on your block and kick your teeth in. Hey, it's that video. Of, it's that video of the dude in the Big Bird suit just breaking <laughs> down that door. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's gonna. Oh man, I love. But no. uh, another thing I love is the idea of like, what if there was someone going to this event and then they were like, "What? What? Do you, what do you mean, Big Bird, Bert, and Ernie are banned? I I thought they were okay." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like all sad shit. <laughs> like I, I guess you know they got back, so I I understand. <laughs> I think that is. I think that was the reason why they're banned. Is because they're canonically in Sesame Street vaccinated. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that's why. <laughs> I think that is why. Oh god, I I love that. Speaking of which, if you have been vaccinated and it's been, I I forget the amount of months, but you can get your first booster. You should probably go get that. You know, just in case. Get but yeah, vaccinated. get Literally, vaccinated. And no if you haven't gone not. vaccinated, get vaccinated. Please, please yeah. listen. You're fucking up in life where Family Guy are making episodes, making fun of you. So come on. Literally, you've 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 lost. Like, all come on. If your moral ground is lower than Family Guy, I feel like you're fucking up something. But anyway, uh, next up was probably the biggest thing that happened in the last couple, few weeks was fucking Warner Bros. It was already rumored for like a couple weeks, but they were they're making a multi they're making a like multi ip like smash game which is called multiverses and this is basically a smash god i i can't wait this to is mean shaggy <laughs> yes multiverses the, this, he this... gets a fucking ultra instinct emote yes he does they know the memes like, like it... that that was the biggest thing where they have a bunch of characters from all sorts of ips that i feel like kind of fall under like warner brothers i guess or just whatever they got permission from other studios and they got characters like uh some characters from steven universe like steven and garnet they got bugs Mm. bunny they got batman harley quinn and then they have fucking shaggy rogers fucking norvell rogers himself fucking as a character and not only that he's straight up just ultra instant shaggy like it's it's it's, the best it's the best like it's the best i can't even and uh it's like we first started with that mortal kombat like the mortal kombat one of brothers intro and now we've gone to this it's amazing i love it finally time but uh aside from that the the game itself actually looks pretty solid it it looks on unla- it looks like it'll be a slightly more budgeted um uh nickelodeon all-star brawl which kind of sucks because yes, i haven't sir. really seen much of that going around anymore and i feel bad because that game is really i think fun. it's because ever uh, like, what sucks too is that when i what i did see it was literally just like people were shitting on the game now because they were actually adding in costumes when they said they were going to do that at launch and what sucks even worse is that, like, they, they said, like, the game had a lot less budget because Nick didn't know if they were actually going to do anything with that. And so when Multiverses came out, it already has all this stuff in it. Yeah. It, it, it just sucks. Well, I, my only major problem, yeah, that, that is my major problem with the game is you definitely tell that they were on a tight budget. The biggest thing is there is no voices for any of the characters. Like, like you would, 
that I feel like that's probably the most important thing for your iconic cartoon characters to be saying their most quotable lines, and none of that's there in that game. Like, no Tom Kenny yeah. for SpongeBob or anyone or anyone else for like it's it's just really weird. But and also the game itself just looks shanky and feels shanky in a lot of ways. But that's also why I kind of love it because the game's kind of nuts. But uh, the the only other problem I really have with it is the controls. Like, you can set your controls like you can in Smash. The only difference is is it won't save after a fight. You, it sometimes will, and sometimes it won't. It kind of depends on if, what player you are and what tag you are. It's, it's really weird. But it's I, fucked. Yeah, and I, I sadly hope that it gets more traction in the future, but I don't know. It, it it just seems like it might die out by this point. But hopefully, maybe this won't happen to multiverses, because, I don't know, it looks pretty solid. They tried to they tried to be like, hey, we're going to do more, like, 2v2 stuff, and they, they have, like, this whole function with it and all. But you can also play singles, as they mentioned in the trailer, so, like, no one really cares that much. Also, they're going to have fucking costumes for the characters, and they had some pretty good ones for uh, characters like Shaggy, straight up. I, I Didn't he get, like, his red shirt a bit? Well, just his red shirt I for one of his I think so. I know one of them was, like, a kung fu outfit, which was not a very, a very not Shaggy outfit, but I also don't mind in the game where we actually have Ultra Instinct Shaggy. So, you know, whatevs. But yeah, mm. no, the game, the, I hope, hopefully the game's pretty good. And it seems like a really weird, like a really weird thing to do for Warner Brothers, but I don't mind, As, especially if we get more characters in the future. That'd be amazing. Literally. Do you, do you have any, do you have any hopes of who you want in multiverses? Um, I key any of the KND, just a little bit, so that way I can have hope again that the KND will actually, you know, get stuff. That'd be in. cool, but I I don't even know who owns them, because it's not Cartoon Network, actually, as I've learned. Cartoon Network do not own the KND. Like, I don't think they ever did. It was like a weird co-owned thing, and I don't know who fully owns KND anymore. It's really strange. But well, yeah, that'd be cool. On, uh, HBO Max... And that's like where all of the Cartoon Network stuff was going. True, but again, I all I remember is Cartoon Network don't actually own KND. It's just I it, it, it's 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 weird. I would need to look it up again to fully know. But <laughs> uh yeah, but yeah, you know, multiverses I hope it's really cool. Um I I don't know. I don't really have any predictions on anyone I would want in the game. Uh, I wasn't expecting... Oh, there's also, like, Adventure Time with... Uh, there's also Finn and Jake in the game, which that's cool. Which, if we get more Cartoon Network characters... I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. There's a, really, there's a lot of really good choices. Maybe I should go with something really dumb and obscure. Like, I want Maxie from the Maxie show. Yeah. <laughs> That's a reference that most people won't get. Even, even I barely get it. Oh, wait. You know it'd be really cool, even though I'm pretty sure Cartoon Network can't do fucking SWAT cats? Bro, I was just talking about those last night. Like, I want cats back. Yo, that'd be... Need... <laughs> Bro, that'd, that'd be fucking hype, though. That'd be all. Oh. Would, would it be like? Oh. Would it be like one of them, or would it be both of the SWAT cats? It'd be it'd like. Be it'd be like ice. Cl- it'd be like ice climbers or something. Or that it could be, be like. Po- oh, so Pokemon trainer? Yeah, that's right. It's Pokemon. Tra- I'm gonna beat the shit <laughs> you, out of you. You press, you press a button, and it switches out the SWAT cat because they they jump out the plane. I would be different than you, Dumbo. It's fine. Don't worry. Anyway, or you know, actually, instead of SWAT cats, it could be. Well, no, damn it. They already have Bugs Bunny in there. Never mind. I was gonna say they can have the the Looney Tunes version, like the the chaotic, not chaotic, uh, lunatics. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Lunatics back on uh, WB? Oh fuck! It's do like I... it's 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 the Looney Tune characters, but they're like superheroes. Oh no, I remember. Yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> that was also made by the people who made SWAT Cats. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Just. I, I hope this game's good. Yeah. This game's good. 
you know, what another thing I would really want from this game is like, you know how like Smash has the sandbag. I want I want in this for their sandbag to be a dude who be that dude who complains on social media how like all cartoons nowadays are dumb, not like his old cartoons. Like that's <laughs> the training bag. Because I, the go up topic, yeah. I've been seeing so many posts on Twitter of the fucking, it's those fucking people on any social media being like, oh man, old Cartoon Network was the shit, now new Cartoon Network's terrible. Uh. And I'm right. like, what are you talking about? You're like using one or two shows that are not even that bad as an example. Or you're using a good show and calling it bad as an example. I'm like, get out of here. Oh, I don't care. The one I, the post, I, sorry, I have like an unfathomed anger for all those people because I saw so many of them throughout my entire time on the internet and I'm just like, I'm tired of it. I don't care. Learn to appreciate new things, you old fucks. But yeah. Like the amount of posts, like the amount of posts I've seen of that dumb comparison of the, uh, the classic, uh, there, there's that uh, intro from the Powerpuff Girls movie where it's all the cartoon, connect, uh, all the cartoon number characters going to a movie theater, and the movie's about to start, showing like the logo mm -hmm. and all. And then they compare it to the, uh, it was around the 2000. I don't know if they have it anymore, but it was the 2010s where, uh, or if they were showing a movie on Cartoon Network, they would have these little bumpers of like some of the new Cartoon Network characters in the movie theater, and that's. That's kind of it. It's usually just like a one-off gag or whatever. And people are like, see, new card number is bad. And I'm like, one played for a special event and the other plays for like one or two in, in the day where no one's watching card network except for sick kids. What? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> like no one, no one cares. No one was up. No one was up for that. It's, like... it's the type of people who who make like a weird ass argument at four in the morning where everyone's asleep. No one cares. But anyway, Just... sorry to go off that tangent, but uh No, it's fine. It's good to hear too. Yeah, it's fine. It's uh Evergreen Content. I think that's the name. It's <laughs> I I think I learned it from Wooly, so it probably is wrong. <laughs> but anyway, uh next up is actually very quite surprising is they're they're reviving the 1970, the, the 19, not 1970, what the fuck, the 1997 X-Men cartoon, or just the 90s X-Men, most people call it. And I'm super excited, mm. because I really can't like the 90s. Remake of, uh, can't wait for a remake of X-Men Arcade Revenge. No, I can't wait for, <laughs> uh, that'd be cool, but no. that The X-Men Arcade is real fun, but fun fact. No, that, no, 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 not X-Men Arcade, X-Men Arcade Revenge. Oh my bad! I thought you were talking about the arcade game because I'm like, no, 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 no. I, don't, I don't care. I, about I, I think I think we already got that with uh, what's it called? Arcade One Up, bringing it back. So I think so. I I don't remember. Only the only thing I know about that arcade game, aside from like I played it all the time and it was fun. But the only thing I uh, I'm super excited for this coming back because I actually really like the X Men '90s cartoon. I watched a lot of it when I was younger because my mom bought me like all the volumes back when I was a kid, and I watched it a lot in the background. And that is also just I'm a huge fan of X Men. I don't pre I'm not the biggest fan of most Marvel stuff. I think it's cool to like all right, and the MCU itself is like fine. I don't. It's one of those things that I'm keeping track of only because my friends are, and that's kind of it. <laughs> Not because of any yeah. interest of myself. And uh, aside from that, like, I, I just think X-Men are really cool. The, but that could also just, that, that can also say a lot about me because, you know, I think the story of X-Men having to deal with, you know, a lot of the trouble of become, being a mutant and being persecuted against, you know, just find it weirdly relatable, you know, just... Right. Just saying. Just saying. Just, just, just saying. Also, Storm be like the coolest. That's all I gotta say. Honestly, most of the X Men, yeah. most of the women in X Men are fucking hype as fuck. Really OP, honestly. Like, Rogue, oh yeah, Rogue gets fucking like OP, especially in the '90s cartoon because that was back when she had Miss Marvel powers and fucking oh, Storm. Yeah. And Storm. <laughs> honestly, everyone in X Men's kind of OP on some level. Fucking Cyclops could shoot fucking lasers out of his eyes. I cannot, I cannot emphasize, I cannot emphasize how busted that is. 
<laughs> Gambit is I I think the only character I say that I actively dislike in the X Men is Gambit. Hmm. No, not Gambit. Okay, I was about to say like that. That's kind of surprising. Coming Gambit's from you. fucking amazing. Okay, yeah. He literally could. I, I I forget his exact abilities, but he could fucking yeah. Put yeah. Energy he he can and, pit energy into objects and throw them at him uh, and make them explosive when he throws it at them. Pretty much. And he does it with cards oh. because it's like the most. Even though that I think it would be funnier. Yeah, you know, card. I, I, don't, I don't know if he actually has that. I don't know if he actually uses it at a move in like any of the fighters. But I really want Gambit to like have like do the fifty-two pickup maneuver. Uh, where like, oh hey, you kind of does that. Up. He uh, and then he fucking drops the, all the cards and it's like a nuke exploding. Oh, it's that like one of his okay. Ultimate. That I don't think he's ever done. But I mean, he does. He does got some cool stuff in the fighting games he is in, like in X Men versus. No, he actually isn't in X Men: The Children of the Atom. In, he is in. He is in. Um. Versus. Uh. Versus Street Fighter and MVC. I think he's been in like all of the. X or all of the he's, Marvel he's games. In, he's in. He's in in most of. He's in most of the. I, I wouldn't say Marvel games because I know he is in it in fucking Battle for the Stones or whatever it's called. But uh, he is in most of them if they have any X Men characters in them. Yeah, he is in an MVCI. The, that's the, for sure. the, the weirdest one is he's not in I, the one I keep thinking that he's in there, but he's not. He's not in X Men Children of the Atom, which was the first like X Men fighting game from Capcom. I only know that <laughs> because have, I have actually Puma played that. Secret character in that, that was just pretty funny. But uh, I, I only know about that because I played a lot of Children of the Atom when I was younger. Because I, just, I had it on an emulator on an Xbox, and it was the coolest. And I was already into the '90s cartoon, so I was like, "Oh shit, a fighting game! Let's go!" <laughs> Fuck Juggernaut in that game. He's a piece of shit. But anyway, Juggernaut yeah. is actually a piece of shit. But no, when I was talking about earlier, X Men Arcade Revenge. It is a fucking NES game, I think. Or no, actually, no, it's a Super Nintendo game. And it is... Oh, boy, it is as bare-bones as fuck it gets. Ooh, I love bare-bones superhero games. They're so... They're so not good. Yeah, it's... It's... Oh. It's not 100%, like, terrible. But it's but one it's of those, a, like, it's, it's of its era. It's, yeah... The the old the the oldest X Men game I can think of is that one on the Genesis that's like a platformer and you like do different you do different stages with different members of the X Men. It was it was. Oh, wait, solid. wait, was it SNES or was it Genesis? I think it was. Ge it might be Genesis. Hold I on. I don't know because I remember that game being hype. It's not amazing, but it's it, it's got a pretty solid soundtrack for a Genesis game. I, I forget the name. Okay, it was on SNES and it was on uh, Genesis. X -Men. Oh, Spider Man and the X Men and Arcade Prevent. Excuse me. Yeah. Could we get Spider Man 2? Spider Man. Wait. Ain't no way. Actually, what I really want Okay, okay. Is... It was the game case. I was going to say, if it had the cart, I was actually going to lose my mind because I just saw the game case for like 10 bucks and I thought it was the full game. Oh, okay. But no. Yeah, no, it's it's the lucrative market of getting those cases for games you own physically. Like I know there's a couple of those I want, but uh, I would I kind of want to get a Sonic Two case, but that's just me. I had Sonic Sonic Two's case is pretty solid. And I can't even can't even argue with that. Hey, but, uh, I think most of Sonic ones are, except for maybe like Sonic One. I don't really care for its American box art that much. But uh, sure. aside from that, uh, I'm super excited for X Men cartoon to come back, and I my biggest hope is they make reference to that Wolverine meme of him looking at the photo. I want that. Oh, so they much. have to. Like you I know they I have want to. it. I I because even in context of the show, it's really weird. Because I'm pretty sure he's looking at a picture of of uh fucking Cyclops and Jean, and it's just. Like, what the fuck? Because there's the whole side plot of, like, Wolverine wants to really bone Jean Grey, but he can't because she's married. Yeah. And Wolverine's like, oh, fuck you, Cyclops, you some bitch. Cyclops, you bitch-ass motherfucker. Listen, listen, yeah. Why you have to marry that? Why'd you have to marry that girl? You know I don't like doing NTR. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, weirdly, it's really weird to say, but that whole thing reminds me of an episode of Victorious. 
<laughs> that whole because there's a whole episode about when one of the characters falls in love with uh one of the like the like the bitch goth girl of the friend group but she's already in a mm-hmm. relationship and he's like i just can't man i just want to oh man <laughs> and i'm like i can relate bro that's fine i just think it's my the, the part i find it funny about the whole episode is like the main character tries uh she tries to like convince of being like why would you ever want to date a a girl who yells at you and like bullies you all the time and i'm just like <laughs> that didn't age well <laughs> that never ages well <laughs> But yeah, I love it. Uh, aside from that, though, that's pretty much it for the main news. Uh, there, the, we could mention a few other things for the couple episodes that we haven't, like you know, nah. learning. But I'll, I'll, I'll just give him like a quick shout out real quick. It's like learning with learning with Pippi is great. Everyone loves it. It got more than a million views on fucking YouTube. Please go watch it and pray and, that it actually gets a fucking release. Oh, uh, it probably won't. But anyway, uh, Chris Pratt is voicing Garfield. God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I can't wait for fucking... Oh, I forget it. But I forget the name of the... It's like the fucking... like I think it was Mashed or Dorothy's Paper Mario video. It was, it was where, probably one of those. Where, where, where like, Mario gets super fucking racist. Oh, ah. Uh. I forget. I I think I remember that one, but I don't it's know. It's not who... the one where they're in carts. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh. I thought it was that no, no, one no. because because that I, was my flash gets and that is gold. I, I also, no, yeah, yeah. Or no, no, no. It's not that he gets super racist. He gets like super political. Let me see if I can fucking find it. Uh, Hold on. The only thing, uh, fun fact: the person who made that racist Mario, like on the the Mario Kart stuff and all that, yeah, uh, that I think the person who did that was correct me if I'm wrong, and and then like the comments or DM whatever. But I think that was the same dude who would go on to make Mau Mau. He was a pure heart on a uh, Cartoon Network. Did he? I believe so. Oh God! Which that I, would... which I'm like, hey, good for you. You actually not only make better content now, but you got onto an actual channel and made probably one of Cartoon Network's better shows on the channel for the past. Yeah, I I really like Mau Mau. It's great. I hope it gets more seasons, but probably not. Maybe I don't know. You never know. You, you never really know in a lot of cases. It really most of the case you didn't expect that at least a series would get a season two, because they usually do through how much time it takes to animate stuff. But it's also just like you just kinda have to guess with the whatever the creator says. Yeah. No, he's a really good artist. He draws a lot of cool stuff. And he draws like Chrono Trigger and like Legend is all the stuff on Oh wait, no, I I'm a fucking idiot. Why am I looking for this on YouTube? It's literally on Twitter. Good job. But it's but anyway, but yeah, uh... it's really good. But it was, but it was like that video. I was like, can't wait for Mario to sound like this when oh, it was God. like him, when it was like Chris Pratt saying that he wouldn't or that Mario wouldn't sound like an Italian. Oh yeah, because there was a there was an article right when uh the the whole uh Chris Pratt revealed as voicing Mario thing where <laughs> Chris Pratt said that he he's no longer Italian. He's normal now, and people were like, <laughs> oh normal. Chris Pratt. No, <laughs> Chris Pratt. That's not the. He finally, doesn't understand. We can, finally, we can have um, uh, we can have homophobic Mario. It's gonna be great because Chris Pratt's very homophobic, I believe. Not very. Is he? He, he is. He's uh, extremely Christian, I believe. Damn. Yeah. That is. Yeah, but uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, aside from that, we're gonna uh, we're gonna now go over to recent releases, updates, all that, whatever. I don't, I don't really have a name for it. It's just like things are coming up or are are out now. Uh, Diary of the Wimpy Kid. That's getting a fucking movie. It's in CGI and it looks and like- it looks psyche terrible. Uh, <laughs> I think it looks fine. It, it, I just think it looks like. To- that it's in three it, then that yeah, in three it is definitely one of those like the art style was not made for 3d <laughs> it was not made to be i feel like it could have just been a fully two i feel like it could have been a 2.5d film yeah, i think but that's not what people that's not what the audience wants like, why would they want no, 2D no, 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 no hear me out hear me out what if we got fucking like because you know how like during the intro for like the live action film they had every. They had the they characters. They had everyone like as as they look in the books. And yeah, in that three D space, kind of like Gumball style. 
Uh, a Tell little me bit. that wouldn't be the sickest thing for like a whole show. Yeah, but audiences want to see CGI. Why would they ever want to look at 2D? Why? Why? Mm-hmm. Why would we ever mm-hmm. want that? Because children are fucking stupid. Fuck children. Literally, all of my homies hate children. Nah, <laughs> you could blame Toy Story for that one. And also what? the also the early 2000s era of we're gonna make any 2D show a movie and kind of just killed out. All Fair enough. Like um, everyone asked for a Doug movie. <laughs> God, Deep, the fucking dog movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, that's coming out soon. That looks, it looks really like it's clearly one of those like this art style was not made for 3D. You know, actually, yeah. a really good example of why you shouldn't pit certain art styles into 3D was uh, Oliver the Other Reindeer because uh, that that excuse me. No, that no, that 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 movie looks fantastic. But our Christmas special looks fantastic. But the the creator actually owns like a three D like a three D sculpture of like uh, Oliver, and it looks really weird three D. I'm telling you. Although, mm. really enough, that whole movie is technically in three D. They just put the characters in two D because all the backgrounds and stuff are in three D. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I was saying. They yeah, the yeah, yeah, I know. That would be perfect for Diver and the Wimpy Kid, but they're not gonna. They're never it, gonna. Because it's dumb. Why they're already, I think, do that? They're already doing the animation, so it's... it's... It's already done by this point. They just probably just need to release it now. But anyway, uh, next up is the, a new trailer released for a... Another terrible idea, We Baby Bears. Which I, I actually don't mind. It just looks like... It's it's confusing. My my only problem with it is like we already have episodes in We Bear Bears that follows them as babies. Where they're younger, yeah. Yeah, but from what I can tell from the trailer, this one looks like it's more like just doing random shit. And I'm like, I don't mind it. It's just kind of weird that it exists, you know. I think what hurt what and what hit the most with We Bear Bears originally was that. These are like adult ass bears trying to live human lives. True, but it's it, true. That's fair. But I also I, the, the, I do think that a lot of people do really like those baby episodes because the baby bears are really adorable. So the baby bears are maybe really that's their thought process. I just it's one of those spinoff series where I'm like I I'm fine with it. It's just weird that it exists. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe not. I, it looks cute, and I'll probably enjoy it. It's just you know it's there. Uh, right. Aside from that, next up is uh, Arcane, the new League of Legends cartoon. It's out on um, Netflix. I haven't watched it yet. I don't, uh, I don't care about Summer Camp Island. I won't lie to you. I didn't say Summer Camp Island. I said Arcane, but okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Even better, because that the ever thing another show is my consistent blocking out of anything League of Legends cre- re- related. Uh, it's, one of those, it's one of those things where, like, I, I... No, 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 I will give you the fucking, I will give you the fucking down. Okay. Watches Arcane or any other League of Legends media. Hmm, this basically what a play League of Legends plays League of Legends. Well, my my thing with is <laughs> like, my thing with League of Legends <laughs> is playing by yourself is terrible, but if you're with friends, it's fun. No, playing League of Legends at all is terrible. Nah, it's, don't, it's don't fun. Get it I, I, I think the game is still fine. I just don't like playing with randos. <laughs> I think it's fun if you can actually get a whole bunch of people together for like a LAN party or a private match or fucking something. Fucking LAN but... party? What the fuck are you? This isn't CSGO? Yes. What the fuck is You can do LAN. Is... No, you can do LAN on fucking. Uh... Yeah, I can believe it. And I'm like, but why would you? Just play with your friends. Because, because getting together with the boys in one location to fuck about, eat food, but and you could play do, games. But you could do the same online. Just play with your friends no. online. <laughs> no. You if, you really, if you really want to, you can play. The boys together. It's about getting the boys together, but PK. That's not, but that's not... You can't do that because you can argue that with any game. Just get the boys together. Let's play some fucking Halo 1 multiplayer, dog. Yeah, you get the boys together. To get to the only difference land. is is you can play online on League of Legends and you can't with Halo 1. If you can, yes, you can. Okay, probably, but no one cares. They're playing Halo three online or Reach or uh, five or Infinite, whatever it's called. You're, I don't. You're, know. you're you're clearly a fuck. A listen, hater. listen. I'm not hating. I just you're don't hater. like. I am, you're uh, whatever. But Arcane, uh, it's one of those things where I'm like, it looks really nice. Like 
every clip I've seen in this show looks fucking stellar. Like, that's some fucking high-tech CGI there. But I just haven't seen it because I'm watching other stuff. That's that's kind of it. I'll probably check it out at some point. And I don't like how League of Legends is trying to evade every space of media for me. Like, oh, cool, this really cool animated show on Netflix. Oh, cool, they're making a fighting game. Fuck me. <laughs> It's, no, no, no! It's just like sees League of Legends thing. I want to play League of Legends. Plays League of Legends. And then it's just the empty Wojak. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just that's just how it goes. Again, I haven't had too much trouble, but either I mute people or I just play with friends. I'm not gonna oh. act like that. I'm not gonna act like I'm the fucking best or anything though. But it's fine. But uh, clearly, 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 you're just my, deranged. I think one of my favorites was I. It was a thumbnail for a video, but it was like League of Legends players Hello? don't get. I'm I'm still here, am I? Oh shit! God Wait. Damn. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Good job. <laughs> Good job. But uh, you know, I I think the funniest was there was someone I forget who the YouTuber was. He does he's been doing a lot of Marvel Two content. But um, he did a video mm-hmm. on how like the new League mm-hmm. of Legends fighting game is coming out, and he, uh, it was a it, I think it was League of Legends players don't get fighting games, and in the thumbnail there was some comment saying this game clearly looks like a Tekken like, and I'm like, what? oh no, what are you not no. the Tekken like? <laughs> now you're echoing, nice. Yo, that is four Yo, echo because no. it is truly you can tell the end. You- of- <laughs> One sec. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, alright. Are, are you fixed? fixed? No, you're, st- <laughs> you're still at <echoing. laughs> Am I? <laughs> you're becoming a robot. I uh... Oh, you wanted to get worse though, you wanted to get even you're 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 literally a, oh it's all right is are you doing that on purpose yes oh I am. <laughs> okay i thought it was your mic messing up oh fuck <laughs> changes my voice modulator once pk uh, what in- damn <laughs> <laughs> uh the be fair like i i i've assumed that anything could go anything wrong can- at this point but yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, League of Legends, it's it's coming, it's coming. Oh, but uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I my mind, like your the last voice you were doing sounded like you're some evil clown from like a '90s show, being like, "Hey, kid, oh. come here." But uh, oh, 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 oh do you, hold on, hold on, let me. Oh no. <laughs> And then I switch over to... Yeah, you sound like Pennywise on an old CRT TV. <laughs> come but... on, come on, come on. There we go. Better. Okay, now it just now it just sounds like you're... <laughs> now it just sounds like we're playing Modern Warfare 2, and you're about to say, Don't worry, boys, we'll get them next time. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, next up is, uh, there's gonna be new episodes of Summer Camp Island coming out, which I was honestly kind of surprised, because I thought nobody watched Summer Camp Island. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, no, I don't either. It's, it's, it's not the best. Uh, it's I, never the best. I watched it, and I was like, hey, this is, this is fine. It's not like my must watch but i enjoy this it's not like something i need more of but i felt kind of bad because oh my god you're fucking i'm what okay okay <laughs> you're fucking the the noise coming from you <laughs> oh my god what i, I can't even i is that on purpose, or is there something going on? Who <laughs> the God damn it. You're making me think I'm glitching through reality. Please, stop. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you that. <laughs> then, then I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Any, <laughs> anyway, that's cool. I'm glad Super Camp only got no, new episodes. Whatever. Cool. Uh, next up, the new trailer for the new Pixar movie, Turning Red, has been released, and uh, I, yeah. I, this, this movie's been ruined for me because I am literally just someone throw up like no this is just an allegory of a woman going through her first period which i mean fine but uh, that didn't need to be said aloud <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god oh my god yeah i i can't take you seriously with that voice talking about period <laughs> No, I need to give me up a friend real quick. I feel like it'll be the best. Anyway, um, turning red, the new trailer came out, and uh, I I didn't get the impression that it was about like purity and all that. But I listen. She turns into a red panda. That's all I really need. Red pandas are automatically like one of the best animals ever. Period. There's no arguing. Never, never. Yeah, but, like, the trailer looks pretty cute. Like, it looks like it'll be, like, a pretty cute movie. I think it's made by the same people who made Inside Out, which I don't like Inside Out, but I do like, um, Soul. Soul was really good. <laughs> like, surprisingly good. Like, I really like Soul. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, you know, that fucking video. I just want to sit with you, and I can show you what inspired this singular voice mod. I can't. I can't with this. But, um... I, after today's episode, I tore up an EK with voice mod. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, anyway, also the mention, there, there, the new, that trailer for Pixar's Buzz came out, and it's, I guess, a Buzz like your origin story? <laughs> Which, um, uh, which I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I love the beat for it. Where oh here, let me also, so you can actually listen to me without turning into fits of of laughter. I just anyway, I, I can't, I can't get that out of my head. You talking about how it's like an allegory for periods in that robot play. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I can't I can't imagine being like Alexa being like it seems that you were on your period. It's <laughs> <laughs> But uh yeah, um Buzz, you were gonna say something about it? Um I love that someone threw a bait or someone I think might have just ruined it where it's like it showed him having hair. And so it was like, wait, Buzzfeer has hair. And then someone immediately was like, let me guess, he's non binary too. And <laughs> that's funny shit. I, I love those people being like, oh man, now he's like wearing, now he's like, like, now he's like, oh, he's chewing gum. Great. That means they're gay now. <laughs> I'm just I I love it, but yeah I I don't know how to feel about that. I meant like it looks fine enough, but we already have Star Command and Star Command is cool. <laughs> Star Command Star is Command was nice, but it's also hard to fucking find. I don't think it's on Disney Plus. I think I don't know. Maybe it's on YouTube. <laughs> You never know. I find a lot of stuff that is just dumped on YouTube until it gets pinned on some streaming service. Like, I found Pepper Ann on there, so you could probably find it on there. If not, then it's it's somewhere, just probably hard to find. I own the VHS, so I don't even need to find it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, next up is Simpsons had a little special with them talking to Disney characters and all that. It was kind of lame. It was just kind of like, look, Disney owns Simpson, and now we make funny jokes because we own by Disney now. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, yeah. It, I, it, it I, was it honestly, was, a like, caring about Simpsons is like fine, but whatever. I, mean, I still love Simpsons, even if the last couple seasons have been not I, good. I, I lost interest in The Simpsons when they declined my ability to watch Simpsons. In order to predict future events. Oh, yes. This is another thing caught from a, a previous episode that unfortunately didn't get released because of the fucked up recording. But there was an article about how this casino was fucking trying to hire people to watch Simpsons so they could predict the future. 
Pixel went, was, Pix, Pixel legitimately went onto the application thing to see the requirements, and, and it I is applied on that episode of the podcast. It was it was legendary, which sucks since the fucking recorded cut it out straight in the middle of it too. I was so pissed. It was like it purposely cut it for me. Like I hate it. It's it was terrible. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, that happened, and everyone was like, wow, this is lame as fuck. But next up is, I actually haven't watched the show, and I don't think most people really even know this show. But uh, some adult cartoon by the name of The Harper House got canceled after season one on Paramount Plus. Which I was honestly kind of surprised, because, like, season... I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, exactly. But, like, I was kind of surprised, because I saw a trailer for it, and I was like, that looks fine. I'll probably check it out at some point. And then literally, as I am looking for the news a couple minutes ago, or actually an hour ago by this point, uh, that I just see cancel after season one, and I'm like, God damn, that sucks. Like, really, it legitimately does because most cartoons don't. Most cartoons can at least get two seasons because usually they have enough content to make two seasons. Because but, anim- uh, animation, uh, animation is a lengthy process. But uh, also. I I I it sucks that I only got one season where there are other cases of shows that I feel like are worse and have way more seasons like um Big Mouth because Big Mouth has like oh, five seasons God. and I if I ever have to think about Big, Big Mouth again I'm going to kill myself. Well, I watched the uh, I watched that latest season actually because my roommates like Big Mouth, which you know I love them, but you know, you know, yeah. It's um, it's it's there. It's there. I, I'm I'm kind of tired of uh, gross out humor, and that's kind of all that Big Mouth has become for me. So I'm I'm good. It sucks. All past. Also, it, I'm I'm echoing through your thing. Through your thing. Shit, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. For now the real problem, though. and it's not forced this time. I swear. I hope. <laughs> I don't know oh. what's real or not real anymore. What's like, real anymore? Is this podcast real? Have I just been in a weird hallucination for the past couple months? <laughs> Wake up one day. PK. PK. Hey, PK, you want to play some fighting games? And I'm like, in your house? It's just a weird <laughs> Midnight Tunes. Never heard of it. Let's play some Never. <laughs> Midnight Tunes fighting game podcast, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? You're about to, I was about to dub you in Street Fighter (laughs) 3. Wait a minute, I know this is the illusion. (laughs) 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 But yeah, um, yeah, uh, sucks for Harbor House. I'll probably check it out since it only got one season, but uh, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much all the news we have today, uh. The last thing before we go with the 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 usual exit stuff or end of the episode stuff is I, I along with Pixel here that fucking bastard. Uh. <laughs> uh, we we are also starting another a new podcast and specifically it it's is fighting a fighting game podcast that it's actually going to be good this time because it'll be topics I for the most part actually care about. Thanks. I I love the amount of effort you pin into this. Thank you. But uh yes, <laughs> we are we we are starting a new uh, fighting game podcast. I don't have a date exactly when we'll do it because I I am pretty busy actually with a couple things for recording. Like I'm doing another thing for a friend and I might also start another podcast with an IRL friend. Bruh. Too many podcasts. Boy. Listen, I'll become a mass star, but don't worry. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This podcast is gonna. I I already made a tweet about it. Literally, the moment we we're recording this, and it's this is true love we're making in reference of Capcom versus SNK 2's stage, and also Let a also a really really subtle reference to Friday Night Fisticuffs. Shh! Don't say. Don't 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 tell Wooly this. Don't go. Don't go away. Oh, it's fine. There's tons of people who like ripped that. Not ripped it off, but like got stuff inspired. Like, uh, Rebel, Ta- Rebel Taxi's like, I, I... Rebel Taxi's new intro for most of his videos is actually like, uh, like he got the idea from, uh, Friday Night Physicals. And I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. 